G'day folks, my name is Nick. This little blue boat behind me is my Creel 18 trailer sailor Second Wind. She's a native of Australia, built right here in Sydney, and during its production run, they were one of the most popular trailer sailors ever produced in the country. This year marks the 50th anniversary that these great little boats went into production. And to help celebrate that milestone, I thought I'd do a few little videos about my Creel uh, 18 and we'll start off this week with what I've got to do to get the boat ready to go sailing with particular attention on how I go about raising and lowering the mast. I do have a full mast raising and lowering system so I can comfortably do it by myself and some of you might find that interesting. It's May 2020 so it also means that we're right in the middle of our COVID-19 lockdown. Our restrictions aren't super bad. Um, we can still get down to the shops. We can still go out and do some passive exercising, including sailing, that's been cleared. So I want to do a couple of jobs on the boat before I take it out tomorrow. Get that out. Now, I've already taken the screws out and a little bit of a wriggle. And there we go. Well, that was a bit easier than I was expecting. All right. So. so what I've got, this here is my keel lockdown. Now, it used to come out the back here, but I have it coming out here because I added this winch to help pull the centerboard up and down. I thought that'd be a good spot to really lock the keel down. Trouble is, water splashes up through here so I've got to try, somehow try and make some sort of a, a waterproof guard to stop water from splashing out. All right so there's the gaffer tape done a patch on the inside just a temporary one one on the the outside as well and that'll stop the water splashing through. There she is all back together and now I'm going to start clearing everything off and I think getting it ready for sailing tomorrow. Well, last Monday I got to go sailing with the family, which was fun. Uh, this Monday, another grey overcast day, I'm going to have a bit of a talk about raising and lowering the mast. Often a question asked about trailer sailors, how long does it really take? Now, in my case, I've got a full system for this boat. I've got a, um, a mast crutch with a roller on it to roll the mast back. I've got a A-frame to stabilise the mast as it's been risen, so it doesn't flop out from one side to the other side. And I have a gym pole to help pull the mast up. This is my mast crutch with integrated roller. Most trailer sailors have something along these lines. It probably need like a different variation. Some of them are already built into the, the push put as an integrated unit. Uh, but it's always something along these lines. It's just to allow the mast to be picked up and wheeled back to go from a transport position into a raising position.
The next thing that I have is the A-frame. This just clips in on a couple of pad eyes on the cabin top, one on the other side as well. <clears throat> and it just slides up and down the mast track and this stops the mast from falling out the side. The last piece of equipment I have is a gym pole. This is just to give a bit of extra mechanical advantage when you're hauling on, uh, in my case, the main, uh, the main sheet uh, to pull it up. As the mast has been raised, the boat's on a slight angle and the mast has a natural tendency to fall over to the starboard side. And you'll see how the A-frame stabilises the mast and keeps it upright and safe until the mast is fully up where the shrouds uh, take up. So a simple boat like the Kareel, well set up, as much pre-done as possible before you get to the ramp and then once you get down there you've got a helper who's well practiced in a good routine. You can have the mast up, boat in the water in about 10 minutes, sails bent on about 15 minutes. For me by myself it takes longer, uh, so it takes me about 40 minutes to get the boat launched with the sails already bent on ready to go. So that finishes part one. So thanks very much for watching. In part two, I'm going to be talking about fitting up an electric trailer winch. This is a cheapy, cheapy Chinesey one with a cordless remote and it's absolutely brilliant. So if you're interested in putting an electric trailer winch onto your trailer, have a look at part two of this series. Thanks very much for watching.